Okay, so having recently finished playing Sound Hill Homecoming, the police station level, the attack on the police station, this isn't a spoiler for anyone who hasn't played it, it's relatively early in the game, that needs to be remade in a proper slow-moving zombie game. Seriously, you need to be, like, trapped in a police station. Okay, there's guns in this room, but it's like 20 feet down the hall. There might be zombies in the way, you know, there are doors that could open, and there might be zombies in those rooms. You know, that needs to happen. And I would also, and as usual, I haven't played all the games, so maybe it has. Maybe that is somewhere in, if so, please direct me to it. I would also like to see some more of the darkness with very little light explored more. That happens at points in Homecoming where the area is too big for you to properly light it with, you know, your teeny little flashlight. I don't know, I guess he isn't overcompensating. And in the game, it's more a source of annoyance than atmosphere, because the enemies can see you just fine, and there might be ones on both sides of you. I mean, it, it could have been worse, there could have been more situations like that, but I think it would be really good to have a game where the enemies are less continuously aggressive, you know, like they'll attack once and then retreat a little bit or something, and you have to make your way through the darkness with only this minor flashlight. You can't light everything all the time, at any time. Did that make sense? You can only ever shed a little light on your surroundings. And there might be an attack at any time, and you have to very quickly either like dodge or block or like attack again, or something like that. I think that could be really cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and spoil the last portion of Heart of Darkness. So, be warned. That is a bit like what I'm talking about. The That screen where it's like just dark and there are a couple of, you know, enemy shadows coming up, but you can almost only see Andy. You know, there's really no you have no idea where you are, even. I think that's really cool. That is exactly what we should have in a horror game. You know, I think they should expand on that. Have more situations where you really don't know where you are. Because that is creepy. You know, when you don't know where you are, and you can't properly see what's attacking you, you just have to react. You know, that could be really cool. Maybe they could throw in a bit, like, think Sound Hill 3 with, you know, look like monsters to you, you know, where you find out that maybe some of the ones you attacked weren't, you know, one word, Watchmen. I'm not going to specify that because anyone who hasn't read it, I'm not spoiling anything, anyone who has, you know what I'm talking about. I think that would be really, really cool. I think we need more ambiguous morality in video games. And yes, I am getting to Bioshock. 